Welcome to Automation Studio. This is the first video of the Getting Started series. Let us take a look at the various components of an automation solution in Automation Studio. For now, we will take a high-level view. Additional videos provide more detailed information on how to use each component. An automation solution usually consists of a combination of different components, which in turn are defined using smaller building blocks. Workflows are the cornerstones of most automation solutions. A workflow is a series of steps that define how to perform a task. This workflow first reads customer information from an Excel spreadsheet and then sends emails to all customers who have unpaid debts. To make each step in the workflow actually do something, we need to use functions. Automation Studio provides a library of built-in functions that you can use. You can also create your own. You drag functions into the builder area to define exactly how each step in a workflow is to be performed. The first step of this workflow now includes an instruction to read data from a specified range in an Excel file. The next solution component we will look at is the event handler. An event handler listens for a specified event. When that event occurs the event handler begins performing the sequence of functions you defined. This event handler waits until the contents of the Windows clipboard change and then writes the new contents of the clipboard to a text file. The central component of attended solutions is the callout. A callout is a pop-up window that is displayed on the agent's screen. It either requests information from the agent or provides the agent with information or instructions they need to perform their job optimally. Just as in any development environment, Automation Studio allows you to create variables to temporarily store information while your solution runs. Automation Studio allows you to create many different types of variables. You can refer to those variables in your workflows, event handlers, and callouts. The last building block we will discuss in this video is the screen element. Most automation solutions interact with other software products, for example, CRM systems, web applications, and Microsoft Office products. For example, here is a CRM system. The automation solution may have to click buttons and fill in fields in place of the human agent. All of those buttons, fields, and other user interface components must be captured as screen elements within your project so that you can include instructions to interact with them. We have now reviewed the most important components of an automation solution. Let's take a deeper look at the Assets panel in Automation Studio. Firstly, all workflows, callouts, and event handlers we create are listed there. Below each are listed functions, events, and properties specific to that component. These can be used in the same way as the built-in functions, events, and properties. All variables you create and the screen elements you capture are also listed. Functions, properties and events may be listed below them too. The second and third videos in this Getting Started series will show you how to create and use some of these components. You will also learn how to test your solutions on your own machine. Additional videos and other resources are available in the Automation Studio Help Center. Thank you for watching.